Okay, so I bought Trap Team a few days ago, and it comes with two trap keys, which are really awesome. One's a hammer and one's like a, like an Aztec design. The problem is that there's all these holes for all the keys. Look how many keys I'm supposed to have, and I only have this, these two, and Chaos. So, yeah, this is going to take a while. CT Karaoke, the gaming channel. Hi guys, it is Monday Vlogging Day. I'm CTK or Corey, you can call me by either. So recently I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of new subscribers, especially now that I've hit a thousand, and there's a lot of you that don't know much about me. I've explained so much about uh, how I do my videos and stuff, but not me personally as a, as a human being. So today is going to be a Q&A video. This is some general questions that I've gotten over the past few years, so I thought I'd combine it all together and just make one big video. So you can learn all about me in 10 or a few minutes. I don't know how long this video is going to go on for. Who are you? I'm CTK, or Corey. You can call me by either. That's my catchphrase. That's kind of, I say it in every single vlog. I've been saying it for nine months now. I'm a YouTuber. I do YouTube videos two three times a week sometimes two sometimes three times a week sometimes two times a week i keep forgetting to post a smash video so i'm not clearly not good at this all the time i'm a gamer i dedicate to gaming uh once a week usually but sometimes i try to expand out outside of gaming but the center core focus is towards video games and everything I do on this channel and that's who I am. Where are you from? I'm from the home of Brooklyn, New York, home of Cyclones, home of classic Nathan's Hot Dogs and uh, Coney Island and Trains and what else is in New York? Anything that doesn't smell like pee. What does CTK mean? Where does it even come from? Okay, I get asked this so many times over the past several, several years. So I'm gonna finally reveal it because I think I've actually said this in a previous vlog, but I mean, it, it was on an old channel now, and nobody's gonna remember. So I'm gonna say it again. CTK stands for Cory the Kid. The reason I never bring this up is because I find it a lot funnier when people guess what it means, which is actually funny. I've gotten some pretty hilarious results that I cannot remember. I actually googled CTK once and it came up as Christ's Time Killer. I'll, I'll go with that. The reason I have the name Cory the Kid is because when I was three or four years old, um, I really loved wrestling. So I was inspired to be like a wrestler I loved, 123 Kid, who ended up being X-Pac later. And so I named myself CTK after that. and. Everyone thought it was stupid by my teenage years, around 7th or 8th grade. They said it's stupid to have a nickname because you're not a kid anymore. But the reason I kept it is because I think like a kid. I mean, I think like a kid, but I'm an adult. I, I love kid things. I love comic books. I love toys. I love things that are for 10, years old, 10 year olds. And I don't think that me being an adult changes that because I can still like these things as an adult. There's nothing wrong with it. And if you do think there's something wrong with it, then close this window right now. How long have you been on YouTube? Wow, I think at least nine years um, counting. Just that, just realizing, yeah. I started my very first channel in 2006. I started with Naruto Clash of Ninja videos. <laughs> Which, if you can still find them, they're really crappy. And so was my spelling and grammar. I really really typed badly back then. I eventually made CT Karaoke in 2011 to relaunch what I would inspire to do, which was the rhythm games and vlogs, and I ended up getting a copyright strike back in 2012 uh, because of a song. I do not actually remember the name of the song. I re-uploaded it with the pitch, whatever, pitch shift or whatever it's called, and I've stayed on CT Karaoke too since now, then. So about three years. How many siblings do you have? I have two older brothers, one of which you've already seen, and I'm sure some of you from the Josh Speaks already know. Um, I'm the youngest of three. My older, my middle brother has uh, appeared on Reboot for Let's Play, and he's also appearing for three more Let's Plays in the future, which won't be up for a while, but you'll get to see him again soon. And the oldest brother, 
um, Neff, uh, he hasn't appeared in any of my videos. I don't know if he even watches my videos or not. If he does, welcome. Um, but he will be appearing on a certain TV show very soon, so hint hint, you should go check your cable stations and scroll through 700 channels to find him. What shows are you watching and games you're playing? Okay, so I'm almost done with Space Dandy because I'm long overdue for anime. I haven't watched any new anime in a while. I realized that and I'm so sorry. I really want to get back into anime because there's a lot of good shows out there. Uh, I almost finished with Power Rangers Super Mega Force. I'm at the semi last two episodes and I started Girl Meets World because I really like Boy Meets World. And it's a great show, and I mean, it's I, I grew up with Disney Channel, so it really didn't surprise me that I would like this one too. As for new shows, um, I don't know what I'm else I'm watching. I'm really behind on Walking Dead. Uh, I fell behind by like two or three seasons, and Modern Family, and a couple of other shows that I haven't watched in a while. I promise I will watch them. I, I I'm Doctor Who. That's another one I fell behind on. Games differ because I tend to switch games like almost every day. I'll go on one game and I'll play it for like three hours, three or four hours, and then I'll switch to another game and I'll switch to another game. Or I may play multiple games in one day. Like, for example, today I was playing on my 3DS Pokemon, Skylanders, Batman, um, what else, Shantae, like four, four different games, and then Runbo on my Wii U and Dungeons and Dragons Chronicles of Mystera, so I'm constantly switching games all the time. I don't know, I just, I feel like I kind of like to switch. With TV shows, I have to keep it one at a time, but with games, I can go millions of them. What inspires you? What do you like? I'm a geek nerd at heart. I follow comic books, video games, anime, toys, cartoons, all that geek culture for the past since I was a kid, and I still follow it, and I love to learn about it. I love learning everything there is to know about it. If I, there's something I don't know, I'm the first to go and read up everything about it, where it came from, how it started, everything behind the scenes, um, just anything in that spectrum. And I like to embrace it on YouTube because I'm also very keen on detail uh, with video. Uh, I love Video, being a videographer, I love film, I love cameras, I love equipment, I love behind the scenes tech work. I will be the guy that will probably be setting up your TV and looking through all the cables and then going through the extra convenience so you don't have to do anything else. What inspires me is you guys. Um, I guess just general things. I mean, I don't like to just only like go from inspiration to geek stuff. I like being inspired by many other things. Um, just things around the world, things that are happening in our culture, um, worldwide news, anything that brings up a optimistic lifestyle. Because don't get me wrong, I mean, it's important to know about things like wars and political debates and stuff like that, but I feel like we spend so much time on them that it just clashes with everything and we don't really get to spend enough time looking for a middle ground. What's your favorite YouTubers? Off the top of my head, I love the PBS Idea channel. I love thinking, I love them, the way they analyze pop culture and they deconstruct it so it's like seen as for a mainstream audience. The Geek and Sundry channel inspires everything I do. Inspired my vlogs, inspired my Let's Plays, inspires everything. I love their shows, I love Co-Optitude, I love Tabletop, I love, um, what else is on there? Critical Role, which is on the Twitch channel also. Just Between Us, because I love Gabby and Allison's back and forth friendship. They're unique. It's it's like, and, and very similar to my age, so I can kind of understand half the things they're saying, and it's very funny to me. I imagine Blank and Pat does it because I was introduced to both of them by my brother and actually got a chance to interview them, and I just love their creativity for their videos. They're really stand out, which is very hard to do in this YouTube platform. Willoughby, because he's a brand new channel, he recently started not too long ago, and I think he's somewhere around 100 subscribers, and I really would love to see it. Post some more videos, you shouldn't only just post video videos, I love having com conversations with you. Video creators, also told by many times, many, many, many times by my brother, um, just, 
I love learning about the YouTube platform. I love learning about new things uh, that go into the realm, like how to up your audience, how to learn about, I don't know, annotations or something like that. Cinemassacre because I've always followed James Rolfe since the early days of the Angry Video Game Nerd and I love watching James and Mike Mondays. I really, they're fresh. I mean, and they do similar approach to me with my Let's Plays. They don't just leave all that uh, Let's Play footage so it's broken down into the funny parts and moments where they're actually speaking. And Tulio Akar, who is actually a fan of me before he started his YouTube channel, and I still watch his videos. I'm not subscribed to a lot of Just Dance people anymore. I had to actually unsubscribe to a lot of inactive people, but Tulio is one of the few. I still watch Amber. I watch, um, who else? Elmer, a couple of others. I, I, I don't follow Just Dance as much anymore since I stopped but I do watch their videos from time to time. Okay, I think we'll just end it here because I think I did a pretty good job of having a Q&A and it ran on for pretty long. So thank you for watching and I will promise I will do another one of these Q&A videos so you can get to learn a little bit more about me. Until then, check out Wednesday for Let's Play if you're new to the channel. There's a Let's Play every single Wednesday. Friday, if I remember to post Super Smash Fridays, I always forget it might just, I might drop it or I might change or something. I need, I need to do something with it. See you guys next week. Bye. Okay, I think every year I'm gathering more and more of these portals because they get bigger and bigger every year. So this is the portal from the first two games. This is the portal for the 3DS one from the first two games. Then we got the portal from the third game and the 3DS portal. Now we got the fourth portal, and these portals are getting bigger every year, and now Superchargers is going to be the worst. But at least you can put the little keys inside, so it's, it, it's pretty awesome.